Now, the second move of that triple threat situation is called a crossover. And the crossover is strictly just a change of direction. And let me show you exactly the way it should be done. In protecting the basketball, you're jabbing with your right foot, and the defense sometimes reacts that way, and you want to change your direction. This is what most of the people do that's going to get, that's going to get called for traveling. And jabbing with this right foot, they get so quick, they go this way by moving their left foot, which is your pivot foot. That is traveling in any league. So the correct way to do it is when you jab, now you're going to pick up the same foot that you jabbed with and change directions. And in putting the ball down, good defensive players, if you put the ball out here, have long enough arms, Scotty Pippen for one, can slap it, your momentum is going this way and the ball is going that way. Good way to correct that is when you jab, now you change. If you put the ball here, you got protection from your right leg. Your hand should be here protecting the basketball anyway. So now the only way the defense can get to that ball is to go through your arms, go through your legs. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a foul. I say nine times out of ten because I can get away with it. But I don't play anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. So, jab step, change the direction this way, putting the ball inside your legs. Now, the good thing about an offensive player is you got to be able to go both ways. If you go one way, now you're limiting your options. The defense is going to read that, and then they become more, I guess, have the advantage to try to limit your options. As an offensive player, you never want to limit your options. So, when you're working on that move to do it this way, also, do it that way. So now you can have two options. If my man is taking a defensive stance, the thing that I'm looking at right now is he's playing parallel. So now he's playing me to go either way, which is good. Which it also, to me, means all I have to do is give him a nice little fake this way. He's going to think and feel that that's the way, that the way I'm going. My change of direction is a little bit better to use when you see a guy with the parallel stance. Mainly because he doesn't know where you're going. So now you have so many options, you just try to use as many options as you can. Now, if he had his right foot forward, that to me is saying, now, he wants you to go this way. The last thing I want to do is go where the defense wants me to go. I want to go opposite. So this is when now he takes his step that way. The change of direction means he's got to pick up this foot and open, then slide to keep up to you as an offensive player. That takes more time than you taking that crossover and driving to the hole. So you have the advantage in that sense. Now, if he has his other foot up, this is what I was telling you about being able to go both ways. Now you can do the same thing and attack it this way. You see what I mean? So now he can't limit your options. So you should look. Before you take your stance, look how the defense is playing you, and then decide which is your pivot foot, your right foot or your left foot, and then attack it.